Hey guys, Josh Mason with the DetoxDudes.com here. I'm going to teach you how to remove mucus and mucoid plaque and pesticides, estrogens, plastics, and all of the buildup of junk and that's sitting stagnantly in your intestines. I'm going to teach you how to do that right now for free. The best strategies that I've found over the years. Uh, coming to you live from Portland, Oregon. All right. So, why do we have to remove this stuff? Well, simply put, the improper food combinations, the processed foods, the dairy, all of the junk we've been eating, and the unhealthy meats, all that stuff that we've been eating, and uh, for the past few decades, and gushers and Cheez Its and Twinkies, all that stuff over the years of buildup combined with stress, combined with sluggish digestive systems, have led to uh, sludgy buildup in our intestines, okay? Sometimes five, even 10, sometimes even 15 pounds of old putrefied rotting junk, okay? So how do we get rid of it? Well, you know, there's low hanging fruit and that stuff you can get rid of with colonics and saltwater flushes, but there is also the deeply embedded stuff, and that's what this video is going to help you get rid of, okay? The deeply impacted mucoid plaque. And there's some debunkers out there that talk about how mucoid plaque is not real, and it's uh, invented by this guy Richard Anderson to sell his products. Let me tell you something. Mucoid plaque is very, very real. See for yourself, know for yourself is ultimately the motto of the DetoxDudes.com. But what I encourage you to do is take a whiff of this stuff when it comes out. The smell is something that cannot be replicated in a lab, okay? That is a smell that only 10 or 20 years of stagnancy can create. And uh, so first, the smell, okay? That's a perfect way to sort of testify um, for the mucoid plaque. Another thing is, why does it not come out every time that we take the bentonite clay and psyllium husk shakes, okay? And because that's the debunkers, the science of the debunkers says, oh, well, it's the psyllium husk and the bentonite clay that you take. And when it goes in your body, it creates that plaque. Third of all is how can this stuff be so impenetrable? I mean, when you poke this thing with a stick, it's like, like a trampoline. It's, you can't even, you can't go through it. It's like rubber. How can you possibly create that with psyllium husk and bentonite clay? I mean, I've tried. I've, I've, I've mixed these binders together and, and put it in my sink for 30, 40 hours to see what it does and nothing compared to the substance that comes out of me when I take these shakes. So I feel strongly that mucoid plaque is real. I am always a skeptic first, always. And I do believe strongly that mucoid plaque is real. So how do we get rid of it? Well, it's pretty, uh, it's a marathon, first of all. I don't believe it should be done in a sprint the way some people do it in 14 days, get rid of all your mucoid plaque. No, I believe it should be done over the course of a year, even two years, slowly and steadily, so that you can maintain your life and your job and your well being at the same time. Okay, so how do we do it? Well, we're going to start off with some citrus fruits, grapefruit, lemon, and orange. Okay, these are very, very good fruits at breaking down um, mucus, also at uh, creating oxygen, okay, creating oxygen in the intestines and in the blood, and they taste amazing. Alright, so unfortunately I have this, it's a great juicer, but it does require me to cut the pieces into very small bits to do it right. So you'll have to bear with me here while I do this. Okay, hopefully my, my main man Anthony can put up some pictures of my mucoid plaque, other people's mucoid plaque, just to give you an idea of what we're talking about here. But long story short, what it is is over the years of eating incorrectly, the body overproduces mucus to protect the body, okay, like a film. And what happens is it, this mucus doesn't have a way of leaving the body and over time compounds and compounds until it's creating this wall on the inside of your intestines. Just check, take a look at your sink pipes. If you haven't cleaned them in a year or two, see what's inside of them. There should be this black sludge, sometimes even a half inch thick. Same thing is happening in our intestines, okay? No different.
Okay, so that's one, that's one juice you can have, okay? Tastes super good. You can also add these other vegetables that I'm about to tell you about, um, or you can just make two different juices. That's generally what I do. The citrus juice tastes really, really good. This one doesn't taste as good. So what I do, these are some other unique, special vegetables that are really, really awesome for dissolving mucus. We have daikon radish, okay? Daikon radish and black radish are two of the most powerful mucus dissolving foods on the planet. Another one of my favorite is dill. Okay, I don't have it with me right now, but dill is a very powerful mucus dissolving food. Okay, so in this other juice that I, I'm not even going to make it right now, I'll save you the time. We got ginger, daikon radish, cucumber, dill, and black radish. Okay, mix it all together. And that's going to be a really bitter, a bitter uh, drink, but that's going to do an amazing job at dissolving the, the mucus and the biofilms, okay? You can throw a little beet in there too if you want. Next, look, if there's any video or any piece of advice that you've seen on the internet, I would say this is probably some of the most important important for your health okay this stuff and this technique really really saved my life if you're dealing with any kind of extreme toxicity or detox symptoms these binders are amazing at many different things first of all they're highly negatively charged so they bind in your intestines to all of the positively charged pollutants and junk okay so that's one thing that they do another thing that they do is they, uh, they start cutting away and s attracting and sucking up all of the mucus and mucoid plaque. Okay, so these are great first thing in the morning for reducing Herkimer, Herxheimer reactions, deep healing reactions, healing crisis. Also amazing over the long haul at re removing mucoid plaque. So they bind to the heavy metals, the plastics, the estrogens, um, the pesticides, and they all have different binding affinities, all right? I have like about eight or nine favorite binders that I use. I'll just show with you three of, share three of them with you right now so you can get started. BioPure's Green, Bentonite Clay, Takesumi Supreme, which is bamboo charcoal, and Zeobind, which is a clean zeolite. There are a lot of dirty zeolites out there that are toxic with aluminum, so stay away. All right, so what do we do? We have our daily juice, of course. Something else that's great, four, five, sometimes six, even sometimes seven times a week, we make our binder cocktail, okay? We take a glass with about eight ounces of water. I'd fill it up to here with water. And we're going to add a teaspoon of zeobind. half a teaspoon or even a full teaspoon of bamboo charcoal, okay? So we, they take the bamboo, just like coconut charcoal, they take the husks of the coconuts and they heat them up in these super high temperature kilns, high temperature, low oxygen kilns, so that the charcoal and the bamboo gets carbonized, but it doesn't turn into ash, okay? So it still retains this amazing absorbative property Okay, it's like a vacuum and it's, it has a huge surface area. The third one is going to be green bentonite clay. Some bentonite clays are also toxic. This is one of Dr. Klinghart's favorite. We'll use a full teaspoon of this. Okay. Then, lastly, we're going to do some type of fiber. Okay, a fiber, a bulking agent so that the binders can swell inside your intestines and do a better job of grabbing onto the 
hard to reach, into the hard to reach places, okay? So I like organic, now foods makes an, orga an organic psyllium husk powder. I suggest using psyllium husk powder, not the full husks. And you can use a teaspoon of this. Now, this does tend to constipate some people. So you start slowly with the psyllium husk. Binders in general do constipate people. So I'll make another video on how to avoid constipation. Um, but the general gist, if you want to get started right away, is just take some magnesium oil orally, 70, 80 sprays orally with uh, some water in your mouth because it tastes horrible. So uh, yeah, that'll be another video of mine, how to re reduce constipation. But anyway, it has to be a dance between taking binders and evacuating. If you're just taking them and you're backed up, you're doing yourself no good. You must be consistently evacuating as well. That's the only way that this gets the job done. So, yeah guys, hope you enjoyed it. This is truly a life-changing health video right here. A life-changing protocol, super basic. This is how you start cutting away at all of the junk on your intestines, little by little. See for yourself, know for yourself. Peace.